Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Italian Makes It. Today it's going to be part two of the banana art. So we've taken a portrait of the banana and turning into this. Yay! This is so cool. This is going to be part two of the banana art photography project. Yay! So, in part one, I've made the banana portrait. Here it is. And you can check out the video of how I made this. And we're going to be using this to take another photo of yet another banana to make this. This time is going to be a lounging banana. It's This is a photo that I took a few years ago. It was for a family photography project during the lockdown just to keep ourselves being creative and doing creative things and it was so much fun so so much fun and you can check out the original photo on my Flickr account but since then I've learned quite few few things and I've learned different um, things that I can do and how I can edit the photo so that's why I want to try and um, reproduce that photo. So I've got loads of props that I've used previously so I can use them now but I obviously have one of the things that changed is the portrait of the banana. Let me show you the props and the idea that I have and then we can put it together and take the photo. I have this old wine box and this is going to be basically our lounge and we're going to be putting lots of stuff inside, including the banana, to create a diorama. I like that word, diorama. Then I have this, which I'm going to be using it as a rug. I crochet, I, I found this way of crochet and I was like, oh my God, I need to try it. It looks really cool. And look at the colours. I used all the leftover um, wool and yarn that I had and I created this and this is big and long enough to go inside the box. I created a little sofa, here it is. I made some tiny cushions to go on the sofa two for the seating and two for the back. And here is our sofa. Then I've made some chandeliers and what I've done, I've made a circle with a wire, covered it with um, wool yarn or cotton or whatever you have. And then I created a macrame effect. Then I cut like a square with the card. And I have inserted these little lights. Ah, oh, I find them so cool. I love them. And once you pull it, ta-da, they've got light. So the light, once I'm ready to stick them on the ceiling in the lounge, I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to have my chandelier with the light. And I have three colours. I've got pink, yellow and green. I've created a little table. I've got these little tiny bottles. So I thought, oh, why not? I filled them up with little um, sprinkles and then attached them to a round bit of wood. And that is the perfect table for the lounge, a coffee table. Then I made um, these little sundae, chocolate sundae or whatever, whatever flavour you fancy. Um, what I've done, these are the same bottles. I filled them up with 3D sort of sparkly um, fabric paint. I made uh, the cookie and the straw with the femur and to make the cream I've used silicone. I've crocheted some um, floor cushions. I'm gonna use some erasers house plants. Oh, love them, cactus. I'm also gonna be using these like freestanding lamps. They light up, they've got like miniature houses lights that they go all the way up the paper straw and I created these I made the mold and then 
I put um, tissue paper inside to create the lamp attached at the top and here it is. Here is the, the lamp and you can turn it on and off. Not sure if you can see it's too light, it's too bright in here at the moment, but there we go. Obviously we're going to have a banana. Also I'm going to use as the background inside the box, I'm going to use some card which I've made to size. It doesn't matter if you can see the line, this is going to be at the back and it's going to be quite dark inside so you're not necessarily going to see it but there's plenty of applications and softwares that will help you to get rid of the line and this two, these other two bits of paper are going to go on, on the side to make the corners a little bit smoother. <laughs> this is exciting and for this project I'm going to be using Ta-da! My SLR, my DSLR. I love my camera, absolutely love it. Um, and every time I've, I'm doing a project like this, I create a diorama, I use my DSLR. Before I set the scene, I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare the banana. So what we need is a banana, a knife and some pins. So what we're going to do I'm going to cut the banana all along this line. We can't really follow the line, but it needs to be quite wide. So we got one bit and the other bit is going to be on this line of the banana. And I'm going to cut this side. So let's do this. And we're going to be using pins to place the little flaps that we just cut in place. That there. And this we're going to twist a little bit. And there it is. And here's our banana. Uh, this is probably going to be just a prototype just to show you how I cut it. Because as soon as you cut it, the banana start going black, starts going black. This might not last until it gets darker. So I might have to do another one. But at least you know what to do. So you've got a pin on that side and a pin on that side. And it looks like he's lounging. So it's going to be perfect. Once we place it on the sofa, that's going to look good. I love it. I love it. So let's get the scene ready. And, um, and then we take the photo. And the photo shoot is over and is all done. And now all I have to do is process the photo. I took several and then I picked the one that I like and I've got one that which is my favorite. So let me show you what I do now. There 
there we go. The photo has been processed, so it's all been done. This project has been so much fun. I love setting up dioramas and creative scenes, and this was brilliant. Um, I know I've used my DSLR, but with this project, you can just use your phone as long as you've got a tripod or you can place it. Um, you can have something to hold your phone still. Most of all, if you're taking the photo at night and playing with the lights, and as you can see, I, I changed the directions, I set them up and then I, I changed the colour of the lights and I changed the position to trying to find the better spot. One photo is never enough. You just need to take several and then choose the one that you like and then process that one. It's so much fun. And I've already got loads of other ideas like to play with fruit and other, other things and what I can do. Oh, my head is exploding. Um, but it's brilliant and I really hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have, why not give us the thumbs up? It really helps the channel and if you've liked it why not subscribe and hit that bell so you can receive the notification on when the next video is out so it's bye bye for now take care